Lucis Naturae by Jared I. McGee. Mark couldn't quite look her in the eyes. After five years admitting his failures here and now was far more difficult than he'd ever thought it could be. He loved her. He did. That much was apparent to him. But he knew that there was no going back to the love that they'd shared up until today. No, not today. It had been at least a year since last they'd shared the same life. For four of those five years, Lydia and he had been more than lovers, more than cohabitators, more than friends. They had been the stuff of poetry and myth. Their relationship wasn't bad, and Mark couldn't quite put his finger on the precise moment when his eyes moved past hers and toward the horizon. Unlike the movies or programs on television, there was no single world-shaking point that pushed Mark into someone else's arms. Certainly, the apathy of Lydia toward, well, everything didn't help matters, but he couldn't stand by that, and only that as a justification for his actions. In the end, he knew that his decisions were his own. He was a primal monster, organically designed to spread his genes. These desires to move beyond one partner were not but a biological joke on those that would be consummate monogamists. The swirling morass of social and chemical cues in Mark's body turned him, like many men and many women, into a Jekyll and Hyde figure, a person fighting a losing battle against their own inner nature. On his explaining to Lydia that Janine was nothing more than a deviation from the norm predicated by these drives that were in such conflict with what he considered what he wanted, Mark was met with tears, with anger, with wailing, with someone so despondent that he saw the woman he knew disappear before him. He tried to comfort her, but she wouldn't have it. She would not let him touch her. The last word she screamed at him as she left, never even to return for her belongings would define him for the remainder of his life. They would serve as the underpinnings for every relationship he would have with a woman until his death. You're a monster, Mark! A goddamn monster! And so he was. And so he ever would be. You have just been listening to an original short story, Lucis Naturae, by Jared I. McGee. The track behind the short story is Camille saint Saens' Danse Macabre by Kevin MacLeod and is being used under a Creative Commons attribution share-alike license. A collection of classical tracks recorded by Kevin MacLeod under the Creative Commons attributions license is available. Famous pieces by well-known composers including Strauss, Tchaikovsky, and others settle in nicely among Kevin MacLeod's own compositions. These can be found at incomptech.com, and a great deal of wonderful free music is available at the Free Music Archive at freemusicarchive.org. Thank you for listening, and please keep your eyes peeled for more original short stories coming from Jared I. McGee.